crafty friends. It's Sue, your not so crafty crafter here. Um, I'm here with a little bit of a Michael's haul. It's actually several small hauls kind of compiled together over the last couple of weeks that they've had clearance stuff. A um, few things I found last week. I did find some stuff today as well, but it's sitting downstairs. It was basically from the party aisles. I found some red gift bags there's like a pack of three red gift bags for 99 cents so i grabbed two packs of those and i figured those would be good for like teachers gifts and such they're like a shiny red and not like a glittery it's just like a, a high gloss paper that they're made out of really pretty so i thought those would be good christmas bags um and i think that's all i found i did buy another cup I bought this cup a few weeks ago. Sorry. This, two weeks ago. Maybe three. Bought it for school. They're $12.99. They're in my store. They're in the front of the store. Um, it says kitchen, but they were in the front of the store. Um, I like these cups a lot. I have a purple and white check one. And then I have a pink glitter one not like heavily glittered very light sparkle thing is i dropped it and the the lid cracked so this lid may work with it as well but i bought i bought this one i thought i would take it to work but i think i'm going to keep it up here on my craft table um but i bought another one of these and it says uh jingle juice on it um it's white with red letters i think it says jingle juice it's it's christmas thingy so um anyway um i'll start jump right in here um i did find a few things on clearance um, maybe three weeks ago and i didn't i haven't done anything with it the stuff over here in this pile i got um last week last weekend maybe Anyway, I got, I found some Ranger embossing powder in pink tinsel. Really pretty, glittery. So <clears throat> that'll go in my embossing drawer. I did find these um, distressed Tim Holtz Ranger archival inks. There's four pads. There's hickory smoke, vintage photo, ground espresso, and black soot. So, and it was $10.99 for all four of them. So I grabbed that up. I did find this saltwater taffy for $2.99. Kind of a salmon color almost, I guess. I have, I'm sure I have this. I have, I think I have all of them, except maybe two of the new ones. Um, they had some stamps on clearance. These are spellbinders. 324 they were not 70 percent off they were only half off so um this one is called know me birthday and it says hope your birthday is like no mother know me a birthday cake wish big a little gift for you and then happy birthday and then some gifties and some little gnomes my husband loved gnomes so saw those and thought of him and then there was this one. This one is four petal sweet day flowers. And it's kind of um, all around generic sentiments. Um, you're so kind with sympathy, sent with love, have a sweet day, happy birthday, so happy for you. Again, 324, kind of what it looks like in this one. The Nomis are kind of colored in with markers. Same with that. I think I might try embossing that and see if I can add little bits of watercolor in there. That's really pretty. Um, I'm going to take these because these I bought last week as well. Um, I found this in the paper aisle. It's $274. It's um, extra heavyweight cardstock, and it's in these plaid shades. So it's, um, or gingham check, is that what it's called? It does, a buffalo check. There's black, blue, red, gray, 
and green. And I thought, I'm not sure the red and green would work for Christmas or not. They look more like picnic table items for me. Maybe the gray would work for Christmas, but that's the size of the check. You can see on the back. So, got that. And then I found, oops, I opened the wrong paper pad up. I found this paper pad on clearance. Let's see if I can open this real quick. This is a Evergreen Greetings. And this was actually not in the paper aisle. It was in the back of the store in the clearance section, just sitting there. I, I, I don't know if there were others there. I saw this one and I grabbed it, and that's all she wrote. There we go. These are so, this has been on there for a while. My goodness. Uh, I need to be Superman to get this stuff off. That, that's how, that's a sign that it's been sitting there for quite a while. Uh, uh, uh. So there we go. See if I can get this side off now for you. And we can kind of go through this real quick. I have another paper pad here I got. It was just regular 40% off that I bought last week. Took the tape off that one, but I didn't think to take the tape off this one. I'm sorry. Uh, golly. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can do this. There are 80 sheets, 20 designs, four of each design. Now, this is definitely paper. It's very thin. Um, so... I think for this, that's a really pretty print. I would use tape and not glue. This is really pretty. It's If you can see it, it's little like mason jars and lanterns. This is citrus and holly on a wood plank. A checkered snowflake or a plaid snowflake. This is um, kind of like a wood grain on the background, the red with snowflakes. This one's really nice. This one is thermos cups and mason jars. I like that colored background there. It's really pretty. A plaid. Or buffalo check, if you want to call that. More citrus with poinsettias. That's really pretty. Like a forest setting with snow and trees. Peace on Earth, Merry and Bright. Almost looks like a chalkboard type of situation. Again, really thin. And then more citrus. I don't know if I'd ever use that, but that's really pretty. Again, um, like a wood plank with greenery. Happy holidays in different fonts. <clears throat> more citrus. I don't know why, but that I think would make for a pretty card that's going to Florida <laughs> with all the oranges. Um, more wood plank with trees on it. That's really pretty. Lots of greenery in this one. Another plaid. That's kind of pretty. <coughs> more citrus. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Citrus with greenery. <coughs> um, Merry Christmas. Joy. Let it snow. Peace. Really pretty. And then the last one is more citrus. And this one was marked down to three twenty four. It's originally a twenty dollar pad. So, and I know I don't have that one from my Hobby Lobby collection. Um, two other things that are clearance items. This one I got a while ago. I got that before school started because I thought I would bring them to school. They were $1.74. They're the Crazy Art 36 count pencils. 
nothing fancy about those. I The first colored pencils I ever used were by Rose Art that I got on a lark somewhere. I don't know if I got them in Hobby Lobby or Kmart or maybe even Walmart at one point when they carried them. And I loved them. And hello, sir. <laughs> Hi, meet Yoda. <laughs> yeah, come here, Bubba. Come here. Come here. Look at that pretty face. When he puts his ears down, he looks like Yoda. He's a good boy. I don't know why he's up here. Good boy. Sweet kitty. You want to get down, Yoda? Come here. Look at the camera. Look at the camera, buddy. See if you can see his, his ears go down. He looks like Yoda. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good kitty. Come here, Bubba. You need to get off my table, though, so I can finish this video. You can sit right here on my lap if you want. There we go. There we go. And then last week I found this. I had already gotten my planner for the year. And I got my work planner for the year. Um, this is actually dated from July of this year to December of next year. And it's huge. They had one today that I saw. It was in the clearance section. Same dates. Um, but it was a hardcover. And I don't ever remember seeing a hardcover from Happy Planner. Um, but, yeah, I haven't opened it yet. But it is a vertical layout so i guess if you're not familiar the vertical layout um for the daily i'm not gonna open it all the way up go up and down like this so so that i'm gonna use that for my main calendar um <clears throat> And then these are some things I bought last weekend. Um, it's funny. Every time I go to Hobby Lobby lately, I grab a pack of these thinking, oh, those are so cute. They're in the Christmas section. Um, not in the, like, the main impact area, Christmas holiday stuff in the front of the store. But my store has, like, a, a center aisle in the back. And these are on four ways in the center aisle. They're jewelry, but they're in with all, like the the Christmas, the wooden ornaments and all that fun stuff on all the Christmas stickers. And I walk by the display and it's like, oh, those are cute. Those would be perfect on tags. And I buy a pack. And then I buy another pack. I got three packs of these now. So I've got enough of those to last me a little while. Then I saw these. These are really cute. It says these are from this year, but I'm not sure. It looks like I've seen these last year. So I thought those would be cute on a tag. Then I got these. I thought these were absolutely beautiful. They're dimensional. You can see that. But I love the colors. The greens and the blues and the purples, or the pinks. So pretty. And these were 50% off. All the Christmas stuff is 50% off right now. And then I got these. I thought these were really cute too. These really, really love those a lot. And then here's the other paper pad. Now this paper pad was in with the regular paper pads. In the regular, the main aisle for the paper, not in the Christmas section, just in the main aisle. And it was 40% off last week for Paper Studio. So I went ahead and grabbed it because it was originally $12.99, which is weird. That other one was originally $19.99 and it was paper. This is $12.99. This is 20 sheets less. This is 20 designs with three of each instead of four. So it's only 60 sheets. But hear that? That's cardstock. And that's really pretty. That's got a, I don't know if you can see that on the corner, pine cones. Music. 
These would be really nice for tags. This is like, almost, it almost feels like wallpaper. Um, that's really pretty. Rejoice, December 25th. Kind of red scenes. Vintage ornaments. I love this kind of... It, and honestly, it feels... It's textured, almost like... Tor um, wallpaper. That's pretty. Yeah, I love that. I would put that on top of that. No problem. Very pretty. Poinsettias. And I'm not sure if you can see... The texture, I know you can see the texture. If I bring it up close, can you see the texture on that? That's pretty. Postage. <coughs> Candy cane stripe. Uh, do you see that texture right in there? Really cool. Oh, village scenery. Christmas lights. Maybe you can see the texture in that one better. Right here. That's actually texture in the paper. Holly berry. More music. This one's nice because on the corners, I'll turn it this way. It's got poinsettias on both corners. Wreaths. Christmas trees. That's really pretty. A red faded print. Distressed, kind of. Very vintage feel to this one. Ornaments with Santa Claus. More holly berries. Oh, that's pretty. Red and black check. And then Santa Claus. And that's it. And that is all I have for this haul. Oh, my stuff is falling all over here. Sorry. Um, but, yeah, that's that's my Hobby Lobby haul. Um, I will be doing another haul. Actually, two more haul videos. I received a Stampin' Up! order today. I am a Stampin' Up! rep. Um, I had been sick over the summer, so I didn't order anything and was getting close to my time to becoming inactive, and I didn't want that to happen again. So I placed a good size order, got a few. I want to say pretty much everything is Christmas. Um, so with this, these two paper pads plus the two boxes of stuff I have in my closet that's all entirely Christmas, I think I'm set for the holidays. So that is all I have for this evening, folks. I hope everyone has a good night and enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Talk to you soon, friends.